is Angela and I work for Caesar and today I'm out here in this snowy field to do a little experiment. I want to find out how much water is in the snow that uh, fell here in Memphis. So to do this experiment you're going to need a bottle, um, preferably one that you can see through um, just so you can keep up with how much snow you collect and um, how much water is left after it melts. You're going to want some, um, I like to use a measuring cup. You're going to want something that you can collect the snow with. I like a measuring cup because then I can kind of keep up with how much snow I actually collected and put in a bottle. You're going to want a ruler um, because we are going to actually measure inside the bottle um, how much snow is there and you're going to want a marker. Um, you can use a dry erase marker if you don't want permanent marker on your bottle. Um, but I'm going to choose to use this marker today um, to mark my bottle so that I make sure that I don't have any mistakes. So why would we want to know how much water we have in our snow? Well, as the sun um, shines down on the snow today and over the weekend, it's going to melt and some of that water is going to infiltrate into the ground and some of it is going to run off into our storm drains and into our streams. So by determining how much water is in our snow that fell, we can make some predictions about how much runoff we will have as the snow melts. Okay, I filled my jar with snow and I'm going to mark uh, the top of my snow is and we're going to let this get some sunlight and let this melt and then we will measure how much water we have with our snow. Here are my three jars of snow that I collected today. The melted one I collected early this morning. Um, the one in the middle I collected a little bit later and the one on the far right I collected most recently. So as you can see, um, as the snow melts, it melts into water and we will measure what our water to snow ratio is. Looking at the first two, it looks like we've got about the same result. This is our first bottle of snow we collected this morning and we had about three and a half inches of snow and now we have right around an inch of water in our bottle. We will check on the other two to confirm our results. This is our second jar and again we had about three and a half inches of snow that we put in the jar and we now have right at an inch of water. So our second uh, jar of snow, which we collected a little bit later in the day, um, confirmed the results of our first. So we finished our experiment and from our results, we found that we got about an inch of water with every three and a half inches of snow that we collected this morning. So what did you find? Is this something that you'll try? You can do this yourself with just a few supplies and find out how much water is in your snow. And if you're an older student, you can use that information to find out how much water is in your yard or how much water what, um, fell in the snow at your school. So try it out and let us know how it goes for you. Thank you.